What is the best website builder for beginners? Hey, how are you guys? It is Harrison Brown, The Million Entrepreneur. And like I just said, what is going to be the best website development platform for you as a beginner? Now, this is geared towards people that are either looking to build a website for their small business or they are looking to start a little side hustle building websites in their local community. Either way, I'm going to tell you guys the my thoughts and opinions on all of these. Now, I've built about 150 websites in the last year and a half. I've experienced all of these platforms and ultimately I've already kind of pre-ranked them from easiest to most difficult. But not only did I pre-rank them, I actually tell you why the difference is between them all and what you might want to look out for versus what kind of freedom you're looking for when you're actually going out and building these. I cover your costs associated with all of these. I cover maybe some hidden costs with all of these and some advantages versus disadvantages and why you might want to go in one direction or another. For example, I compare Shopify against Squarespace. Who knew, right? Shopify, totally e-commerce store, Squarespace, a website builder with an e-commerce functionality built into it. So these are all different areas that I'm going to deep dive into this. Now, if you're looking to start a website for the first time or you're looking to do this as a side hustle, I highly recommend hitting that subscribe button down below because if you do, you're going to get some notifications on when I release videos that are going to help you grow your online business. And other than that, that's pretty much it. I've already, like I said, pre-ranked these. I'm going to tell you guys all about the cost, how many hours it's actually going to take you guys to build these websites. So without any further ado, let's jump into my computer. Alrighty, we are in my computer here. So the first one I want to cover, and I've kind of already ordered these in level of difficulty. Now, I will preface this, Webflow and WordPress are probably not beginner friendly by no stretch of the imagination, but I wanted to include them because I want to share with you guys why they are not beginner friendly. But otherwise, you have Squarespace. Squarespace is about $20 to $25 a month, depending on what plan you're on. Now, you will pay more for e-commerce. That is true across all the platforms. If you want to sell a store on there or you want to have those additional features on there. But other than that, WordPress is a true drag and drop editor. You can literally drag things on the page. It makes it very, very difficult to mess it up. Now they have probably the most extensive variations of templates for you to use on your website. I would also venture to say that Wix is similar to that as well, but ultimately you're going to be able to have all of these different areas in here. So you have browser extensions, you have explore scheduling. I mean, there is a lot of tools in here. Once again, it is going to be about 20 to $25 per month, but overall it is probably the easiest. And the only reason why it's the easiest is because they make it so hard to mess up. There's no fiddling. There's no fidgeting. There's no, Hey, you know, how do I get this to line up right? it's just going to drop in exactly how you would imagine it would drop in but other than that i mean it's a great website builder they've done quite a bit of uh, quite a bit with it over the last couple of years i'm glad to see where it's going i mean their templates are insane how many you have on here let's just say uh restaurants here right and describe your site so local pub we'll say local pub you know now it's going to ask you some handful of questions here you can always just go to i'm just browsing right and it's just going to give you a ton of templates now their template library like i said is probably as insane as wix is but you can go through here find what fits you right and when you're first starting out you're probably going to want to just go through here and just pick what's going to work for you the best so just find something that works for you right that fits your kind of style your your imagination right and everything on here can be swapped out so everything from the buttons on here to the text now the reason why i put this as number one is because they make it so hard for you to mess up the template it's probably the easiest one to go use so i highly highly recommend messing around with this if this is going to be your first website now it's no nothing against the other couple platforms, but this is probably the hardest one to mess up or get anything wrong with. So definitely check it out. You do get a two week free trial to play around with it, mess around with it, learn, enjoy it. And then after that, it does go into a paid subscription. So just be aware of that. So the second platform we're going to be going to is Weebly. Now I really happen to like Weebly. Weebly has a weird soft spot in my heart. Now I haven't built that many websites on Weebly, but the ones that I have built on there have been extremely easy now the reason why we don't build that many websites on weebly this is coming from a professional is because it's just too easy now the reason why in that might sound crazy is because pretty much everybody can do it without messing it up so it kind of makes us not needed now there are always going to be areas where you could probably improve but once again i mean this is a phenomenal phenomenal platform here i'll cover pricing just because i think that's really important now this is really really cool you get a free website 100 
percent free now this is very similar to wix you can go on here you can play around with it learn everything like that that you would want to do and then once you're ready to go live you can fire up the six dollar or twelve dollar a month plan always once again take a look at these right it's basically going to give you all of the the free all the options here because they want you to figure out what is going to work best for your business so i really enjoy the fact that it is 100 percent free until you're actually ready to go live where you can connect your custom domain so in this case maybe it's growth-generators.com or harrisonbaron.com other than that i mean it's a really it's actually a, uh, an incredibly great platform to use it's super simple it's very quick it's very responsive they definitely thought about the end user right being you who's watching this when they're building out this platform now i do like that it gives you quite a bit more freedom to do what you want which can also start to get into that little bit of a difficulty level right when somebody has too much freedom it's almost difficult to build out the website so just keep that in mind but once again drag and drop builder here you have your video backgrounds you have your site search i mean it's really the all-in-one platform as far as the be most beginner level if you want a little more customization now i have to include that in there because squarespace is not that customizable it's very much so like legos right you there's only so many ways that you can make legos kind of fit together where weebly it's not so much like legos it's more like play-doh there's a lot of functionality that you can have in there but it's still very very beginner and basic i don't know if that's the best analogy for weebly because play-doh can get pretty crazy but other than that i mean it's a great platform comes with an ssl a security socket license in here where it will prevent your website from getting hacked you have great hosting you have great domain management their support is on point honestly all of these platforms are their support is incredible but other than that i mean it's a great platform i would highly 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 recommend it for beginners now i did mention that i was going to mention how long it should take you to build a weebly website or any of these websites so let me just roll back here really quickly so for a squarespace website for your first squarespace website if you're going to just take a template and modify the template i would say you're probably looking at between four and eight hours of time that you're going to be spending now you might be thinking oh my god four hours it's a lot of time here's the thing you still have to get a little figured out with the platform it's like kind of riding a bike for the first time once you figure it out it's very very easy but it's still that balance that you have to figure out so i would venture to say that wix or better yet weebly is going to be even shorter than that so you're probably looking at about a three to six hour time frame to actually fire up your first website now if you want to make a completely custom website that can vary and take hours and hours and hours i'm not covering that i'm covering the modification of a template so it fits your business ultimately that's what you want to do but this is a great platform honestly i love it you get some great stats on here i gotta say out of all the stats squarespace and weebly give the best stats on your website who visited how long they visited where they visited on your website really really do enjoy that they also do have a mobile app so you can check what's going on any orders that you're getting in any custom contact forms anything like that i would highly recommend this platform then they have a more tab you have a photo studio guides marketing themes features weebly blog inspiration center app center seo guide and help center All right overall probably in my opinion the second easiest or even the easiest it just depends on how much customization do you want I would definitely say because Squarespace has a free 14 day trial and Weebly has a unlimited free trial, go test both. I think both are a no brainer. Now add on a little bit more difficulty here. We're going to go over to the Wix area. Now I say difficulty because it's not actually hard. It's just the amount of customization you can do on here. It is the best drag and drop editor out there. In my opinion, you can mess around, you can adjust, modify where you put things on the pages, exactly how it's going to look for anybody else out there, which is phenomenal. However, it gives you a little too much creative freedom and you got to be really, really careful. Now they do have what's called an ADI editor where they basically bring over your old website and they've tried to format a brand new website for you. It works surprisingly well. Now it's not the best thing in the world. However, if you're looking to get off of maybe an old GoDaddy builder or maybe an old WordPress website and you just want a fresh up-to-date website, it's going to be the best first step to take when you are starting out your business. So without any further ado let's go through this here it is a true drag and drop editor here they are going to show you they have an insane 
amount of templates over 500 of them i'm actually going to pull them up here and honestly they are out of this world good so you can go through you can adjust modify take whatever you choose if you're starting a brand new one i mean the amount of templates they have is kind of insane now they also have an incredible store feature just like the other builders they have a lot of other additional features that i haven't quite seen in all of the other Program. So they have a booking feature, they have a blog feature, they have a restaurant feature to set up your menus correctly. They have so many features that are kind of baked into the software that I really, really like. So, I mean, if you're in makeup and cosmetics, there's a makeup and cosmetics one. Uh, you can go through, choose what you want. If you're starting a little boutique, if you want to go through, you could do, uh, you can go to stores, right? Jewelry, fashion, arts, crafts. I mean, it's going to have a style that is probably going to fit your need. Now, this is definitely definitely something I would say start with a template first and then modify and adjust from there you're going to have quite a difficult time starting with a blank canvas and then building something out for yourself but they're constantly adding new templates I got to give them massive amounts of kudos on here it's pretty impressive what they've kind of come up with on here but they have vlogs on here if you're a vlogger they have a blog on here so if it's a personal blog I mean, whatever fits your need, they have it with so many templates. And the best part about them having so many templates, and this might sound crazy, is because there's so many templates, the likelihood of you seeing somebody else or somebody else seeing your website and being like, hey, I know that's a Wix, that's a Wix template is very, very slim. I've rarely seen them. I could usually pick out the fonts and there's other things that now that we've built over a hundred Wix websites that I could say, hey, I know this is a Wix website without actually having to check. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Now, some of them, there's major brands that use all three of these platforms. Actually, there's major brands that use all of these platforms, but overall it's phenomenal. Now I do want to cover price. I think price is really, really important here. So let's just go over price really quick. Once again, it is free forever until you're ready to go live and then it's a little bit more expensive it's about 14 dollars a month to first launch your website right where you'll get your custom domain but it is free forever otherwise now it's going to be between 14 and 39 dollars per month and then all the way up to their business and e-commerce plans at 50 dollars per month now do you need the 50 dollars per month one probably not but look teach their own right this is definitely a platform that it just gives you so much expansion they're adding a course feature on here they have an integrated crm on here it's pretty impressive what they've kind of given uh you as the consumer to to see what they offer and how they do it and this is the full features here where you can go through and see what they have i mean it's it's really 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 impressive what they offer so definitely go check them out it's once again this is probably the third most challenging platform because there is so much freedom now if you're a brand new starting on this platform and you want to say hey i want to go build a wix website how long should i expect you're probably looking at between five and ten hours of playing around with it so you kind of get it dialed into where you like it right there's always freedom and room to move and grow your website even further but i would say on the safe side between five and ten hours of modifying and adjusting your website there are hundreds of videos online about them feel free we, i have them on my channel here if you guys go choose to subscribe or you can go check out my agency website growth-generators.com there's a youtube link on there and you guys can go check out our youtube channel where we put specific trainings together on all of these platforms but that's wix i think wix is overall probably my favorite platform with it it combines so much freedom to do what you choose and then on top of that you also have the the basic basics the the ease of use and the, both of them just make for this beautiful symphony of working with clients right so if somebody wants to hire us they can always hire us there is a marketplace once again attached to this their marketplace is phenomenal they're constantly adding more partners who are going to be able to help you if you choose to pay for them pay for their assistance to help you build your website now the fourth one this is not so specific to to beginner level people but if you've made it this far just are pretty good you're kind of interested in this and i think that i had to throw shopify on here because even though it's not the simplest if you're looking to start a store online this is simply a no brainer having the ability and having the functions of shopify behind you shopify is undoubtedly the best e-commerce platform out there so like i just said i mean the functionality and features of shopify is probably the best now i think what makes shopify probably more unique and this is going into the more advanced level is the fact that they have thousands of plugins for your website so if there's a functionality or feature it is very very easy to set up on shopify you literally go to their marketplace you go in you say select i want this and it is in your website they have native integrations which is incredible so I don't think the market is quite what I'm looking for, but there's a whole marketplace once you log in that you can go in and you could just get 
thousands of tools out there. I mean, it is really, really incredible. You can leave reviews on them and they are all specifically designed to work for Shopify. Now, here's one of the gripes that I have with Shopify. Shopify, as big as they are, they just broke their, their communications and functionality with MailChimp natively. Now, you could always make it work otherwise, but here's what's important to understand about that. If they're willing to do that with a massive company like MailChimp, who else are they could they do that with? Now, I'm not bashing Shopify, but it is something to be very careful about when you're going to build one of these websites. Know that, hey, they may make adjustments and change things. You have to be somewhat ready to either be on the move or adjust and change and modify. Now, why they terminated their relationship, I don't quite know, and I'd be lying if I said I did, but you have to be careful and you have to keep that in your mind when you're going out and building these websites. But other than that, for building a website, it is phenomenal if you are looking to sell and make money. Now, yes, they are quite a bit more expensive than other websites, but for $30 a month to be able to do the e-commerce area is huge. And for the $299 a month, you can have 15 staff accounts. You're probably not paying $299 unless you're doing probably over a million dollars a year in business. So at that point, what's $299? You have your staff accounts, you have your inventory locations. I mean, it's really kind of incredible. They have a great rate on credit cards in here for 2.9% and 30 cents per transaction. I believe that's the same. I know it's the same with Wix. I believe it's the same with Shopify and Weebly as well. But other than that, if you are looking to build a store, a specific store where you want to sell products, right? It could be leather wallets. It could be batteries, right? Maybe it's Tide pens, right? Whatever it is that you were looking to sell, it is a no brainer to go with Shopify. I have seen so many businesses explode because they use Shopify because they were an e-commerce store specifically. Keep that in mind. That is very important for you to know. It's an e-commerce store specifically. If you are a mom and pop shop and you want a bunch of the other functionalities and features, you're probably better off using one of the three other website builders previously. Shopify is not going to be the best fit for you. You're going to end up spending a lot of money in dev costs, hiring experts to add all the pages that you would want to have, right? Shopify is really for the internet entrepreneur who is looking to make thousands and thousands of dollars strictly with an e-commerce store. I cannot hammer that home enough because I see too many people. They're like, oh, I need to be on Shopify. I'm like, do you actually, all everything you want is adding up into the thousands and thousands of dollars for the functionality that you actually need. You probably don't need that. And just keep in mind, it's very easy to go from a Squarespace, a Weebly, a Wix website to Shopify. It's a little more difficult to leave Shopify. There's just plugins that are already pre-made out there. But other than that, Shopify is a great platform. If you're a newbie and you're looking to get on here, let's just say you had 10 items to sell. You're probably looking about 10 to 20 hours to actually customize and build out your initial website, which it may sound like a lot, but there's a lot that goes on with shipping and the products and details on the products, right? And then you have to add in custom pages. If you want those custom pages, it can get a little quirky over time. Now I added Webflow and WordPress in here. Now these are absolutely the more advanced platform. So, and the reason why I brought them in here is just because I want to share with you guys what they kind of look like. And just as you see here, I I mean, it looks like Photoshop. Imagine trying to learn Photoshop. They do have a great course in here. They do offer an e-commerce area. It is a phenomenal platform for building incredible websites. However, the learning curve looks actually just like this. You're going to get in here, you're going to start, and then all of a sudden this learning curve is going to launch right up here, and then it'll just slowly go up. Whereas the other platforms, it's a much more gradual kind of growth where Webflow and WordPress are very much so you're going to, oh, I kind of figured this out. I figured this out. And then all of a sudden this crazy high learning curve, ironically enough, it just works well with this launch area. But this is the coolest part about it. I mean, there is the, on the functionality is nearly unlimited on here. There's so much to do. It requires no code. That's their, their whole premise, right? The no code platform on here. But ultimately, I mean, it's, it's a great, platform builder. Now you can go in here, you could start your own website, you could play around with it for free for a very long time, I think for unlimited amounts of time. And then once you set up your your custom domain, right, once again, harrisonbaron.com or growth-generators.com or whatever your domain is, you can go in here and play around with it. Now pricing, it's about $20 per month. I forget uh, exactly how much it costs per website, but I think it's about $20 per month I pay for some of our websites. 12 bucks. Uh, if you want the CMS, so content management system, if you're blogging, you definitely need that CMS in there. Um, 
but overall, I mean, it's a great platform. You're looking at the business plan of $36, monthly visits, 500,000, right? And then you have your e-commerce plan up here. So this is going to be, if you're adding on a shopping cart, right? It's an, it's $30, $75, and $212 per month. They are not known for their e-commerce area. So if you're looking for an e-commerce store, once again, go with Shopify or Big Commerce or one of the other big box name brands. They're gonna just be way better for you. And then WordPress. I needed to bring in WordPress. I think it's not fair if I compare all the easy stuff to just Webflow. WordPress is phenomenal. It's been around for forever, but the skill that you need to have and the learning that you need to have is tremendously high. I cannot stress it enough. If you are building out a Webflow or WordPress website, figure it's probably gonna take you about 20 to 30 hours to get a basic website up. And that's why it's definitely in the more advanced features or the advanced area. It's not as easy, right? You have your designer CMS, e-commerce integrations, hosting, editor, SEO. I got to say, out of for SEO, they all do a pretty good job. None of them are out of this world. I think Webflow and WordPress probably do the best, but they're also the hardest to learn. So I had to throw in WordPress in here. Once again, you're probably looking at 20 to 30 hours to actually get it launched, but I wanted to make sure that I brought it in here. WordPress is a completely open source builder, right? You could just build websites and then you have to buy themes. There's a lot of like hidden things in there that I don't particularly like. So yes, you could launch a WordPress website for free, right? It's open source. It's free. Then you pay for your hosting, which is $3 a month, but then you have to pay for somebody's theme or somebody's template. It's just, it's not, it's not really beginner friendly. It's great for web designers, web builders, people who want really fast websites or functioning websites. It's great. But for the common person, you're definitely looking at the, the, the three main ones on here, which is going to be Squarespace. It's going to be, uh, nope, I want to keep browsing Squarespace. You have Weebly and then you have Wix. Those are going to be the easiest ones on, unless you're doing a specific e-commerce platform, definitely go with Shopify. But otherwise that's it. These are the three easiest website builders out there. I challenge you to find an easier one now there are probably going to be easier ones but here's the catch right godaddy website builder is sit unbelievably easy you lose a lot of functionality when you don't go with one of these three platforms i'm not saying you need to be on either one of these three but if you're going with like a godaddy builder or you're going with like a no-name builder or something like that you could be missing out on a lot of functionality and features that you may very well want on your website and as great as GoDaddy is, you're going to be restricted on the ability to grow on that platform. Whereas Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, there's kind of like an unlimited amount of growth potential. We've gotten plenty of our customers' websites into the tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of clicks. I mean, it's kind of impressive to see the growth that you can have on there. Where on a GoDaddy builder, I've never seen anybody really get that much of a web presence. And I'm not hating on GoDaddy. I think GoDaddy is a great platform for what they do, but they're just not a website builder. So I hope you guys found value in this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if I sound a little nasal the allergies are out of control down here in North Carolina and I don't know why but I thought about this before this video if you guys are like hey Harrison you wear a lot of red shirts I apologize I just have a weird amount of red shirts that are all pretty plain so other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys like this video if you guys if I helped you in any way hit that like button hit that subscribe button little notification bell and if you have a friend or a family member or somebody that is looking to start their own website send them this video it will help them and save them hundreds of hours of time, energy, effort, and money. So other than that, I'll see you guys later. See you guys on the next one. Stay tuned on this channel, by the way. I'm putting out tons of videos that are to help entrepreneurs out there start their own business, start a side hustle, or heck, even start a website building business. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.